Hi, hello, friends. Welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is part of React and Node.js project. We will learn how we can integrate Search Product API in React.js. I hope you remember in last video we created that API in Node.js and now we are integrating that API. And one more thing, uh, in last video I told you that this is the last feature of our project. No, actually after that one more feature will be come that is API authentication with JWT token. So let's uh, start with the points of this video. First of all, we will make an input box for search API for search uh, product API, right? I just want to show you here. So uh, we will make this uh, search input here so that whenever we will type something, product will be search on change. And uh, another thing is um, we will make a search handle function so that inside it we can call a search API. We can check that uh, is our uh, search content is blank or not. We, did we got some search content or this is result is blank. We will handle all these functionalities in that function. And we will obviously call API with the help of fetch API function. And uh, then we will update our product list on search. And this is my Instagram account if you just want to follow me there. And please subscribe my channel also. So now let's uh, get started with the code. And uh, this is our search uh, list, product list.js page. And I am just creating here an input box. Input type and uh, we can close this and we can add here play, placeholder. So let me add here placeholder search product name or search product that's okay there is a no issue after that we can add here a class also let me add here class class name it could be let's say search product box or even put any name with it and now let's uh, add the class with the app.css file and now let's uh, Added some CSS with the uh, dev tool, and I am adding here some width, let's say 400 pixel. Uh, margin could be 20 pixel, and uh, height could be let's say 30 pixel, or more than 30. Let's see, it could be 40. That's okay. 38. That's okay. And now we can add here padding left. 30 pixel and we can also add here border border solid uh, let me add here some color and uh, other properties solid one pixel is width and color is sky blue right now we can copy this style from here to app.css file great so now let's create call a function on change on that uh, search product input box so let me add here event on change and let's say our function name is search handle and let me just define this function and that could be a arrow function or it could be a normal function also but I will prefer arrow function and uh, we can get an event from here event and let's try to call it uh, console dot one and we can call that event dot because in the event we will get the complete this input box so we have to event dot target dot value now let's see what we are getting in that input box so let me put here hello or you can see that we are getting that exact keyword in this handle function great so now what we can do here let's uh, store this value to any uh, variable or any key so let's say i'm just saving it inside the key and uh, let's take result and let's call fetch api use fetch api for call api and uh, this is our api url 
and uh, we can use here back ticks so that we can use template engine use dollar brackets and uh, now let's simply put here key and that will give uh, the result and one more thing fetch basically return a promise to handle it we have to use here await and await can be only used inside the async function we got the result but inside the result we will not get uh, json formatted data so to convert in the json format we can use here result dot json and uh, again it will return a promise we have to use again await and here we can check that if result is true what we can do here um, we can simply call here set product state right you can see that this this state is defined here to uh, get the data from api and set in the state so let's simply put here result right so now let's see is it working fine or not there is some uh, corner cases i will tell you what are they but first of all let's try to search it so i am searching here m40 and you can see that this is working fine if i just put here uh, 5g it will still work fine uh, with the capital g if i just search here uh, four uh, then you can see that we got the 4 from m40 and 402 if i just search at 402 this is still working fine but there is a still there is a mistake so if i'm just uh, uh clearing that search then still all results are not coming back how we can get that for that we can simply check if we have something inside the key that means we are we have some uh, data inside uh, the input field and uh, we can just apply the search api here if let's say there is a no data this is undefined that time we can call here get product function and this is already created whenever we just uh, created the get product api you can see that here right so now let's try again with that so let's say i am searching here uh, 30 fine whenever i just clear it you can see that we are getting all data if i just search here 402 one data two data and if we clear it we are getting all data but again there is the edge cases so let's say i just search here and uh, hello and we don't have any result with the name of that keyword then there should be like uh, uh, no result found text or something right so how we can do that for that let's simply check the length of products that how many products we have in array product dot products dot length is greater than zero that time uh, that condition will be called else we can simply call here h uh, else case and we can say that no result found so now let now let's try with it so what i'm just going to do here i am searching here again let's say m 40 working fine so if i just put here something else no result found and if i just clear it back we are getting all results one by one and we can remove it and you can see that all data is set here so with that way we can apply the search api or search feature with the react js if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box and in the next upcoming parts we will uh, apply the feature of JWT token or you can say that API authentication with the JWT token. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Take care.